Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to give you some drawing tips in Illustrator. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you a couple different methods of drawing. Um, and I'm going to start with the pen tool because it is the trickiest for sure. Um, and there are some pretty simple methods to creating um, some drawing lines. So with the pen tool, you're going to want to make sure if you're just going to do a line drawing that you draw with the stroke colored and the fill empty. And the way that you do this is you just select the color. Now suppose there's black. Um, so you just select this option over here, which is the none option, and it will empty out the color so that there's nothing. And now what we're going to do is just make some basic lines. And so to make a curved line in Illustrator, you're basically pulling on your line whenever you go in a different, so if you go down and, and you pull it to the, to the left, it'll make a shape that's more curved to the left. And if you just kind of yank it to the right a little bit and go up, it'll yank it higher up to the right. To make it go down, you do the same thing pretty much, except the opposite way. Um, and I, I find that it's easiest to draw a curve with the grid on. And so if you go to view, um, you go to view, and you go to show grid, this will just give you a nice little grid so that you can, you know, draw your lines a little bit more exact, like so. So that's how you use the pen tool. Now, I'm going to also show you how to use the paintbrush tool. And if you've used Photoshop, it's very similar to the paintbrush tool in Photoshop. The only difference is, is that when you've finished your line, it'll add more of a vectory kind of effect to it. Um, in the sense that if you watch when I'm drawing this, the line doesn't look exactly the same as it did when I first drew it. It'll kind of change up a little bit. Um, but that's okay because sometimes when you're drawing over a sketch, you're gonna really want that because you know if you make a little mistake, it'll co completely correct it. Um, and so now I'm gonna go to the pencil tool. And the pencil tool is if you're looking for that exact line like we were just talking about, that's what it's gonna give you essentially. Um, it's not gonna re it's not gonna go back over with that vector effect. It's just gonna give you exactly what you drew. Pretty much, um, I like to use this tip for when I'm drawing um, eyes because sometimes um, you don't want that shape to transform when you're making eyes because eyes can be really uh, exact and specific. Um, but one other cool thing about the pencil tool is that it'll change the path if you draw on a certain part of it. So like if you decide I'm going to draw this spiral shape but you're thinking, I don't really like that spiral shape anymore. I'm gonna try and make it go this way instead. It'll completely transform the path. Or you can, it'll, yeah, exactly. It'll, it'll attach whatever you've drawn to the rest of that shape. And then, yeah. So um, now I'm gonna show you how to adjust your lines because this can get frustrating if you know, you decide your line is too thick. Um, so, for example, if I'm going to draw a face, just a really quick, basic little anime face or rounded face, and I don't like how thick this line is, so I'm just going to go up to the stroke weight, which is up in the left corner. If you go to stroke weight and push that arrow, you can select a thinner line, and that'll give you just you know, a nice crisp thin line if that's what you're looking for. But if you want it thicker, you can just go down and select a thicker line. And that's what that'll give you. And it's kind of like a markery effect, which is kind of cool. Um, and another thing is um, you're going to want to make sure that the shape of your paintbrush is what you want. So for example, this is an oval. And this is going to create more of a calligraphic line. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, if, for example, you are making text, um, you can use the pen tool and just draw a shape, but it'll have a more, the thinner the line, the, the less like a marker it'll look. Um, so I'll just like go to six 
And if you can see, it really looks like a marker line, um, which is great about Illustrator. Um, and that is how you draw different types of lines. And these are your drawing tips for Illustrator. My name is Alex Cecilio. Thank you.